Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Survive. I'm the Mysterious JG. So, since the last video, uh, quite a bit has actually happened. If you are not watching Bobo the Vulture stream, I finally got around to playing some multiplayer with Bobo the Vulture. Uh, as a result, I'm now the Purple Helmeted Warrior. <laughs> so on Bobo's stream, I was wearing the cowboy hat and dressed all in pink, but now I'm the Purple Helmet Warrior. What? Why are you looking at me like that's a strange name? Anyway, uh, there has been some stuff that went down, too, because I, I did some off-screening solo as well. Uh, you remember how last time I was talking about how um, Running Roach and Charging Yield died and brought back First Age kits, and then I rescued Bloody Panther, and then Raging Wolf asked a favor, and I got Rampant Raptor. Well, since that time, also off-screen, because for some reason I'm now off-screening bits of this game. I went on a, you know, I just got a randomly was told to go get another crew member, and I got Growling Buzzard. Then Raging Whale asked for a favor, and I rescued Killer Wallaby. Then Bloody Panther, the guy that I, you know, rescued, the first guy I rescued off screen, asked for a favor, and I got Charging Wallaby. At which point, I thought one of my guys had come back to life, but I was confusing Charging Wallaby with the late Charging Eel and the recently acquired Killer Wallaby. So... They're all totally different guys, some of whom are dead. Um, Off-screening gave me access to an item that can increase people's aptitude at missions, and as a result, I gave one to Dan, who is off the exploration team and onto the development team, because I think that's where he's supposed to be. Food supply team, I took Nicholas off and gave him two items to make him better at this, so we'll see if eventually that clicks over. Uh, I gave one of those items to Miranda for the medical team. Base development team, I actually gave an item to Growling Wombat because it actually says would yield modest results, which is the most positive thing I've seen. And uh, Chris's description says he's unable to participate in actual exploration, but would perform well in logistical support on the exploration team. So I brought him onto the team and gave him an item to make him better at it. And I healed everybody's stuff. The other thing that you guys need to be aware of is that because of something that was happening in multiplayer... Uh, Konami gave everybody, because I guess there was some kind of problem that I wasn't even aware of. Konami gave everybody a premium booster pass as a make good. It was good for 24 hours. I kicked it in last night while playing uh, multiplayer with Bobo. And um, it's got five hours left, so I figured I would do some solo play while it's still in effect. You get double Kuban for certain things. It's good. But yeah, I did switch up gear. I, this is all broken gear that was repaired that had neat augments. That's why I'm using it all. I guess I'll quick go through what the gear is before we get on with the story. So... I already have this gun, but now my pants give me a dexterity level 1 increase. My rib cage vest gives me vitality boost level 2 and defense boost 2. Hard elbow protectors give me strength and dexterity. Protective helmets give me dexterity and endurance. And of course I'm the purple helmet warrior. I was going around wearing a pink cowboy hat before and my rest of my outfit was pink as well. So let's try to continue the story. Although actually, oh there's one thing I meant to look up. Um, we'll do it real quick here. Um, The uh, tomato in Metal Gear Survive is something we probably can get in th this uh, next plot mission. I think. I have this vague notion that the tomato will be available around this time. So... Oh, never mind. Here's an actual video I would need to watch. That's not what I was hoping to do on screen. I was hoping to just get the map, but I can probably skip around. This will probably be some guy telling me 800 times, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, but otherwise just showing it to you on the map. Uh-huh. Sorry. I'm making fun of what this guy is saying, but...
He's by Ruin03, as he pointed out in an extremely disinterested sort of voice. So, yeah, the, uh, okay, so when we get to Ruin03, which should be Ruin03, so it'll be part of the, part of the next main plot mission we go on. We'll be getting up towards that zone. So let's, uh, get going on that. So, yeah, I've done a, a few little plot missions off screen, like, you know, mining a mobile singularity that doesn't really yield super great results. And I did some of the easy mission on multiplayer solo to get daily rewards. That's basically how I got the things that are supposed to be making my crew members slightly better at their jobs. But so far, I haven't really noticed what the effect is. I've marked the predicted location. Have you now? Take a look at the map. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. So yeah, we're supposed to get up there, which I think is going to be possible from here. But I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. It'll be from one of these two locations. So... One thing I already noticed that I'll point out on screen so as to be zany and amusing is that uh, we teleported Metal Gear Sahalanthropus back to base. Our base. That was that whole big mission before. Yeah, it's still here. That is Metal Gear Sahalanthropus. So, not really sure what's going on with Metal Gear uh, Sahalanthropus still being here, but... You can see it clearly is. It doesn't look as big as I thought it should be either. Not worry. So we're gonna have to find a bridge. Because I remember running around in the dark of the dust, possibly nighttime, finding a bridge before. It is. It's one of the sparingly placed official mountain climbing crack cracks. It already feels like we're making good progress towards this target with our mountain climbing adventure here. Oh, I'm hearing stuff teleporting. And there's definitely some giving off light over there. Boy, the Charon Core set up a lot of light towers. It is not easy to see around here. Yeah, I think I got real... I remember getting pretty nervous exploring this area before, because there are cliff drops, and... The worst visibility in the game is when you first enter the dust. I see it. Really hoping I can find a way to not notify this guy of my presence, but whatever. But as you'll see here, I got a little coupon bonus, and they make a they they make a big point of showing it, which is I guess smart. They're trying to get you to buy because it costs real world money normally to buy the uh, the boost, so they're trying to make it feel indispensable to you. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I wanted to play this game today. I actually, Metal, uh, Red Dead Redemption is the thing that I 
uh, and then the closest to being out of on the channel, but, um... But this is what I need for, um, to get while I've got double coupon bonus. As far as I know, there is no double coupon bonus available in Metal Gear Survive, or in, uh, Red Dead Redemption. This is kind of an annoying little place. I see a bomber over there that I want to sneak up on, but... I'd like to get as, rid of much of, as much of this as possible. And I just darted forward to grab that corpse. I, I need to learn. I've run into the issue before of them placing those guys close enough together that when you go to get the Kuban energy for successfully sneaking up and taking out one, it can leave you... That was bull. I, I tripped him. I know I did. I mean, all these heading down headbutton boulders or uh, drums. Oh, I thought I got far enough away. I guess I did not. I wonder what my injury is. I got uh, bruised. Bruises are not the worst in this game. I'm ignoring these uh, crystals. Which, again, not really that great, but, um, you know, you're getting double rewards for them, so you might as well grab them. I wonder if the uh, plant guys will come after me because I make noise. Guess we'll find out whether I meant to or not. I didn't mean to. But doesn't start. Well, there's definitely guys coming. You hear guys who are highly agitated by all that. Oh, that guy started doing a save sequence. He's doing the save animation. I think this is the last... I spoiled a little bit of the mission structure. Sort of by mistake. I think this might be the last mission where we're doing anything other than just defending a point. And every single multiplayer mission is a variation on defending a point. They even invented something called Rescue, which I was did the tutorial for, and it's like, oh, this could be interesting. It'll be a change of pace. No, it's still structured around defending fixed point, or you carry around, you you go rescue people, but you have to carry them around, and they get attacked. Like I thought they might actually do something where you can have some layouts, just lots of zombies, and you have to get to a certain point. And there's a lot of zombies in the way. And you can do it as a team, but no. This is super frustrating. How the hell am I supposed to? Keep an eye on your remaining oxygen. Captain. Oh. Supply with oxygen I guess I snuck up on it from behind. You can supply yourself with oxygen from your eye okay, the speed at which I'm going through this mission is... It's way too slow right now. I'm eating through oxygen. That's not a good thing. Let's just try to pick up the pace. Seem to have gotten away from, um... Oh, that's a bomber. Seem to have gotten away from the grass, guys. Yeah, the bombers, by the way, behave pretty differently in multiplayer. They're much, much faster. They run around like they're all freaking out. It is an extremely different uh, feeling.
Okay, that worked out pretty well. I do remember there being a waterfall bridge in Metal Gear 5 Phantom Pain. Or a bridge near a waterfall of some kind. This isn't working. Yeah, I'm not going to sweat getting the tomatoes. Oh, here we go. Not necessarily going to sweat getting the tomatoes right now. But, uh, I mean, it would be nice. I'll keep an eye out for them. I'll keep an eye out for communism. Oh. Hey, it's like Indiana Jones the Temple of Doom bridge fight here, but... He's, he didn't do it right. Well, no, I guess he did in the sense that he fell. But uh, the bridge was supposed to get cut off on one side. and I know what familiar section of the uh, Phantom Pain map we're going to be doing for this last bit of mission, like normal mission. God damn it, I was really hoping you would let me fold them. But now I won't. Oh, so I guess I still get to. You guys, let me fold them or uh, extract Kuvan energy, please. You guys mind waiting there while I uh, dismember the corpses of your dead friends? Well, I mean, they were dead already, I guess. It's not like I killed them. I prevented them from being animated in their undeath. I got the little stabby icon, and I noticed what it was. It's a little too late. Could be tomatoes, although so far we haven't been finding the plants in, you know, containers like this. We've been finding them in actual, you know, the corn was actually in a cornfield. Go figure. Get any cool recipe? No. Careful get, getting overburdened, too. The gear I'm wearing uh, has better benefits, but is heavier than what I was using before. I wonder if I can see where I am on the map right now. definitely the way to go. Did I cross a different bridge or did I get to the right place and then went the wrong way? And I'm head backtracking. I think there's two bridges. Well, there's more than two bridges. Apparently. Yeah, I need to sort of move a little... F I mean, I like the sneaking approach, but I, I need to move pretty rapidly. That's not what I meant to do. Maybe I'll just ignore them. Wanderers in time. Go that far for the course. Stay sharp. 
yeah, I can't say I'm that surprised that there would be wanderers. Well, now I have to decide, for reals, am I going to keep an eye out for the uh, tomatoes or not? Because this you might recognize as being the mansion where they had Code Talker. Lord knows they're not going to create a whole new intricate building like this. This is the mansion. It was like the only thing even vaguely like this in Metal Gear Survive. Or Metal Gear uh, 5 Phantom Pain. It was kind of neat. It was very different from other levels. And I revisited and full cleared it several times to capture guys. Because once you got used to the layout, which I've completely forgotten the layout. But when you get used to the layout, coming back when it's not plot mission and the guards are not quite as thickly placed around, uh, it was a good place to go, like, capture people. And uh, bring them into other base to be your, you know, your warriors who will engage the enemy. So I don't know that we need to get all the way inside like we did uh, with code the Code Talker mission where he was like deep in the bowels of the mansion. Actually, the geography of the mansion is probably a lot less relevant to how you do the mission in this game than it would have been in... Uh, Phantom Pain. Approaching target. Continue to search the area. <laughs> okay, coming up here was apparently not useful. So, yeah, my stamina, I, uh, why, whatever. You should rest before you're out of gas. Now I want to see if I can find those tomatoes, though. The urge to search for tomatoes has grabbed me. If nothing else, I can get a good, uh, good map exploration of this zone would be a good idea. that it doesn't want to let me get thanks to the weight limit of what I can carry can't I take the strong back perk or something hmm. I think one of them is inside the building so this might be a good way to get the, the crowd of them thinned out they can find their way to where I am. Otherwise, it's just making them really alert zombies. It's like a beautiful song. Got urban armor lower. You gotta get aramid fiber when you can. It's a component for a lot of the advanced armors. At least the level of armor that I'm currently using. Now 
And I do not remember the layout of this place. I do remember lots of up armored helmeted guys around here before, which made it. Oh, well, hold on one second. Well, there you go, folks. We got our uh, tomato. Uh, I'm sorely tempted just to get out of here because we've used up quite a bit of our oxygen. We're at, like, now our durability in our tank is mostly gone. And we'll have better map data if we come back now. And getting the tomatoes feels like a significant accomplishment that I could live with as, you know, progress. I do vaguely remember this being one of the areas where you flee with Code Talker. Definitely remember running this way at full speed. No fair, man. I saw you. Well, you saw me too, I guess. Oh, a mortar. I don't really want to deal with him. Let's just keep following the river. It'll go somewhere eventually. It's really hard to tell where I'm supposed to be going. It would be dangerous to continue in that direction. Please Move too far from the dust, you'll end up in an unexplored area. You'll take damage in unexplored areas. This is basically the end of the world. Okay. Got it. So on that end of the map, they couldn't be bothered to put in a reason that the map ends which suggests I'm running off in entirely the wrong way crap okay well it will be interesting to look at our footsteps on the map after we get out of here. You know, assuming we do get out of here alive. We'll have tomatoes and, uh... Hold on a second. I thought earlier I actually... people who are injured and ill. I know about where I am. I set my... Great. I didn't set my... Uh... Apparently I did not set my... Uh... marker where I thought I did. And I have to get out of this zone before I'll be allowed to place anything again. Ah, crap.
Well, charging in here, not finishing the objectives, but getting back out alive, if I can pull it off, will definitely be advantageous when we come back, because we'll be able to um, take advantage of the map that we gained. So I'm going to call it a win, but only if I can get back out of here. jerks respawned, didn't you? Pretty sure I cleared you guys out before. Maybe not. See one of you there. Just ignore it. Rise above it. Just so tired, man. really growing to hate that hissing noise. As far as I'm concerned, it means you're not allowed to run through this area. That's all it means. So I'm not even worried about fighting them. Unless there's a bunch of much more powerful enemies nearby to give you problems. They're not a threat. It's just a nuisance. medical instrument. That put me over my weight limit, so fun. Whoa. I'm not going to be able to run and jump and stuff while I'm over the weight limit. Let me just use some milk, I guess. Oh, I didn't know that actually gave you... Um, Hunger recovery. I didn't even, I've never actually drank milk in this game. Still a 100%. This does not weigh very much. But I'm really close to... Um, really close to being below the weight limit, and now I am. So I may be able to jump across. Although I shouldn't have to. Um, there's a way to get to where I'm trying to go without crossing there. I think. Damn it, map. Yeah, I was pretty sure that was doable. Didn't make it seem easy, though. Okay, let's come over here instead, I guess. Whatever gets me out of here. Oh, and I'm all energized with a lot of run speed because of drinking milk. It does a body good. 
All right, so we're gonna go back to base, reform our ranks, and we'll have some nice map data to consider next time. It'll be great. So that's pretty much time to call it a video, but let's uh, let's get all the way back to base camp and um, consider what we have learned. There's an item that can be harvested. Well, there's tomatoes that can be planted. Ah, okay. So I went off on a uh, grand tour of the edge of the world. I um, was actually not taking the correct path at all to escape. In uh, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, I believe there is a helicopter extraction point up there. But I uh, was not doing that. I was um, just heading for the end of the world is in this game. Alright, so we're going to call it a video. When we come back next time, we are going to plant tomatoes. We're going to warp back to our main base to plant tomatoes and uh, just quickly do that because it'll be fun and then jump back on the story. I'm Sirius JG. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.